Hi everyone and welcome to Upskill Videos, the place where you learn how to become a better freelance designer. And today I want to talk about passion and the mystery behind it. But before I start, I'd like to say that this video post that I'm having here is part of a blog carnival that we are doing over with my friends at Freelancers Hub Philippines. So I will add a link in the description below this video to um, get you to participate in that carnival if you like to or you to so you can view the different blog posts related to passion and freelancing from my other friends from Freelancers Hub Philippines. A special shout out to Mommy Ginger who is our host for this month's blog carnival. So to continue on Let's talk about passion in more detail. Now, if you've ever talked to a successful freelance designer about what kind of freelancing service you should start when you are just starting out, the chances are you've probably heard advice like do something that you are good at or do something that you love or do something that you are passionate about or maybe some form of that advice, right? Well, Starting a freelance design business around your passion is actually good advice. But there is just one problem with it. And it's the fact that most of us start our freelance career without a clear idea of what we are passionate about. I mean, let's be honest. Do you really know right now what you are passionate about? Now, if you do, then you are a very lucky person. But if you don't have a clear idea of what your passion is right now, then don't worry because a lot of people started that way. I started that way. And here is one advice that I'd like to share with you that I hope will make you feel better. You do not need to know your passion right now in order for you to start a freelance design career that will bring you success and happiness. Let me repeat that. You don't need to know your passion right now in order for you to start a freelance design career that will bring you success and happiness. I believe that the biggest misconception most people have around passion is that a lot of people think of passion as a pot of gold that you find at the end of the rainbow. It's like when we think that if we only figure out what we are passionate about or what our passion is, and then to build our business or build our career around it, then we will be successful and happy. But I'm sorry to say that passion doesn't work that way. You know, if you look at the dictionary, the dictionary defines passion as a strong emotion. I mean, did you get that? The dictionary defines it, passion is a strong emotion. It's not a thing. It's not a hobby. It's not your strength. It's not even your interest or it's not something that you are good at. Passion talks about a strong emotion or a strong feeling that you have towards something. Or if I want to put it in a stronger frame, I would call it obsessive love. That's how I would define passion. But what does this all mean for you in terms of your freelancing business? So here's a value bomb that I'd like you to remember. And I also sort of discovered it along the way as I was trying to discover my own passion. Passion is never found by thinking of the things that you love to do. Passion is found by doing things and learning to love it. Let me repeat that so that you can remember it. Passion is never found by thinking of the things that you love to do. Passion is found by doing things and learning to love it. Okay, let's just say, for example, that you love basketball. When, when you were a kid, how did you know that you love basketball more than badminton? Did you just sort of think about loving basketball and then suddenly you realize that you love it and had this aha moment? My bet is you didn't discover it that way. My bet is you just went ahead and played basketball and discovered that you enjoyed it. And because you enjoyed it, you learned a lot of things about basketball. You tried to study how to dribble, how to take free throw shots, how to take three pointers, how to block shots, and all of this other stuff. And 
maybe you also ask your parents to buy you the best rubber shoes and the best gear that they can afford. You see, when you were a kid, you learned to love basketball or you learned that you love basketball by playing basketball. And the same is true with badminton, perhaps. You discover that you didn't like badminton because you were bad at playing that game. You probably were having trouble hitting your shuttlecock using your racket. So that's when you realize that badminton is not something that you like. So in both cases, you figured out what you love and didn't love by trying it. And once you figured out that you love basketball, you did everything you could to study the sport and be good at it. And that is the same approach that I'd like you to take about discovering your passion for your freelance design career. So it's not something that you think about. It's something that you try. It's something that you do. It is only by trying that you discover what your real passion is. And here's a four-step roadmap that I'd like you to follow to really discover your passion. And I believe this is the only way you really discover it. Try, experiment, persevere, and then fail or succeed. And that is the exact same roadmap or formula that I followed in discovering my own passion for making animated explainer videos. When I started my freelancing career in 2009, I had zero knowledge about animation. In fact, it wasn't even in my list of hobbies or strengths or something that I'm really good at. It wasn't, it wasn't even there. I mean, if I think of my life back then and you tell me that I'm going to do animation, I would probably laugh at it because I had no experience on it. Probably the closest experience I had about making animation is when I was making slideshow videos for my friends who were getting married. You know those kinds of videos where you display when they were still young and they grow old. So th those kinds of slideshow videos. I was doing that. That's probably the uh, ex only experience I had in making animation. It wasn't even animation. It's just basic photo slideshows. But just like the basketball analogy, I just tried doing it. I just tried my hand in doing animation. And my first animated video is not something that I am really proud of. It's not even actually part of my own portfolio. But because I tried making animation, that's when I got curious about it and interested enough for me to learn and to study it. So the next step for me after trying was to experiment. So I studied, I watched YouTube videos, I watched a lot of tutorials around animation. It, it grew on me and then I discovered that, yeah, this might be something that I, I want to pursue as a freelance career. And then after experimenting, I persevered when, when problems arrived. So I had to learn to solve problems and work with difficult clients. And I had to learn the hard parts of animation, even the coding part of animation. And I had to refocus my attention in terms of what kind of animation did I do. So there was this point in my career where I had to turn down projects like uh, 3D music videos or uh, slideshow videos or video editing because those were the types of videos that I didn't enjoy doing. And then because of this experimentation and this perseverance, I finally reached that point where I realized that what I loved about animation is actually doing this mini explainer videos, creating this simple animated explanations. And once I got to that point, I just funneled all my energy and my efforts into making more animated explainer videos until it was I was earning more than uh, what I had in my previous job. Now, did I know that I was passionate about animated explainer videos when I was starting? Not at all. But it was in trying that I discovered it. Imagine if I didn't even try. So here is my advice for you. Quit overthinking about what your passion is. If you want to start a freelancing career, look at what you like and what you are curious about and then just try it. Just try it. And put in a lot of love when you try it. Remember my advice earlier? 
passion is never found by thinking of the things that you love to do. It is found by doing things and then learning to love it. So just start with what you like. Start with what you're curious at and learn to love it. That's how you will discover what you are passionate about. Then persevere long enough to see you through the difficulties of that kind of career. And then learn to obsessively love it to the point where you can call yourself a geek about what you're doing. And then if suddenly you realize after a lot of perseverance that it isn't really working for you, then that's the time you quit and then try something else. So that's how you discover your passion. There's no secret formula. It's just really trying things out and then learning to love what you are doing. And as I said earlier, passion is not a pot of gold. It is a process that continues and it never ends. And here's one more thing that I have discovered about passion. It can change and it will change in your lifetime. I mean, you cannot be a professional basketball player when you're 60 already. Even if you obsessively love playing basketball, you just can't. Your body can't compete with young, uh, younger players anymore. So you really need to rediscover your passion over your lifetime. To be totally honest with you, I am at a point in my life where I am also trying to rediscover my own passion. Because right now, I cannot spend as many hours doing animation as I did before. So it's something that I'm doing. So try, experiment, persevere, succeed, or fail. That's the roadmap that you need to follow in order for you to really discover your passion. So cheers to your journey in discovering your passion. And thank you again for watching this video. And as usual, if you feel that this video has helped you in any way, please subscribe to my channel and share it to your friends, whom I hope will, will also really discover and figure out what you are passionate about. So cheers, everyone. And remember, always keep learning. Bye.